On Tuesday, the 7th of November, barely after court granted bail to seven suspects in the murder of former assistant inspector of police Andrew Felix Kawesi, families were eager to meet their loved ones. <laughs> Ahmed Senfuka, accompanied by his brother Abd Shaban Senfuka, breathed a sigh of relief when they rode on a motorcycle, but little did they know that they were being trailed. <laughs> Shortly after, he was apprehended. Police claimed it was not aware of the men who carried out the arrests, but the army later admitted having conducted the operation. The judiciary, led by the Chief Justice Pat Katurebi, condemned the action. So I cannot tell you where we are holding them because. We didn't participate in this arrest. Even if you have to arrest a person, you don't have to strip him naked. These security forces, they should have handcuffs. You've got a person, you want to arrest him, put him in handcuffs, he's immobilized, take him where, where you want to take him. We visited Senfma's family in Namanuga, Mokono district. For the past eight months, his relatives have often walked to Kampala whenever the suspects are brought to court. 23rd March 2017 evokes bitter memories for Senfka's father, Shaban Kasule. It's the day his son was arrested in his sight. Jamila Nachimuli, who is Senfka's wife, and his mother, Aisha Naku, narrated to us how the mood was at home upon the news of Senfka's bail. Abd Shaban Senfuka, who is his brother, witnessed the rearrest. <laughs> The shrill of Semfka struggling to free himself from the clutches continues to haunt his brother. But hope turned to despair for many of his relatives. Questions are abound over the roles of those who helped in the arrest. Personally, I have tried to engage the police spokesperson on this from all platforms, but in vain. Sevka's lawyer, Godfrey Triam Sima, has filed for habeas corpus as his client's whereabouts remain unknown. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.